Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UI5. And in this particular video, we'll learn how to create a UI5 application that showcases EV charging station finders or locators. So electric vehicle is an, you know, going to be one of the only vehicle that everyone will be using in future. And in this use case, every driver will be searching nearby EV charging station. So in this video, we'll create something using simple iframe based application. So certainly we can create the same application using different methodology and one of them is using Google Maps where you can just use Google Maps API and uh, integrate this particular uh, map API into your SAP UI5 application and you, and you know already that Google Maps already showcases some points that are already there, right? This is one use case. So there is a dependency that Google has to have uh, that particular EV station marked on their map. Second one is like using manual entry. So you create your own database table. You gather all the information online. So like some companies there, Tata is there in India, Coal India is there and uh, in US Tesla is there. So every particular uh, companies have, you know, their own stations and they have their own data. They have their own applications. Certainly you can gather all data all together, create a database and you can map them all over the Google map. This is also second use case. The third one that we are going to use is right, uh, uh, very simple way that some people have already created the maps and you just use that map into your application. You just use an iframe for that. So the code is also shared the, uh, within this particular project. So we'll add the links in the video description. So if I jump to the application, it looks something like this. Simple master detail application with uh, multiple tabs here. So you can see this is, this is for US and Canada. You can click and see more information like where exactly it is and when it, the last check-in was made. And a lot of things are there like public station, high power stations, and which one is currently in use, something like that. And you can simply switch here like this and go to European Union. So it is like uh, showing uh, for multiple countries in Europe and then for our India, we have also created this particular map and you can zoom and see what all stations are there. Certainly this cannot be the actual source of truth. So you have to find the URLs, the applications that have better, you know, locations, better reach. So anyhow, so we have found a few of them. So we have just integrated them here. So I will show the code now. So you have to just create a simple application. So if I showcase the structure of the app, so if you see, this is called EV map, right? And in that we have just one single view and one single controller file map.view map.controller, nothing else. And if I just again show the code for view, so you can see that we have something called TNT tool page where we have a header EV charging station finder locator that is here this part and then we have side navigation which has three parts so one is usa eu india the same is shown here right and uh, on select of this particular sections these pages open up in the, within the container so based on the page container i am able to fetch using the page ids and within that we have used iframes right and these are three different URLs, three different websites from where we are getting the data. Certainly not all websites support uh, the iframe. They have disabled themselves for the iframe. So that you have to check before uh, using them. And uh, if I jump to controller on these three buttons, I'm just uh, getting the control, uh, the page container. And based on that, I am just, uh, you know, jumping to these page IDs. So just simple line of codes to create something like this and just uh, load all the data related to EV charging stations. So yeah, that's it. That's it for this video. We'll meet again and we'll try to cover other use cases of this entire application. Thank you.